good morning guys and welcome to another Zero to 60. Today we've got video number two on Andrew's Renault Megane RS250. Yeah, it's an update video or a follow on from the first one. So I've had the car now for about eight months and I've kind of fallen in love with it. I think I was just touching on that last time, but I, I'm still not bored with it. It's such a fun car just to hoon around in. You get the shift perfect, you get a nice pop. Especially after you spent some more money on it. I have, I have. I have got the RS tuner map on it. Yellow seat belts mm. and an Alcantara steering wheel. So just a few little things coming from a world of big power BMWs. I cannot believe how fun it is. How fun it is, how much I've really enjoyed it. I've got to say it's all money well spent. However, that RS tuner, what did that cost you? The RS tuner was in Australian about 550 Aussie. That's incredible. It's made such a difference. It has. It's um, not only sort of increased the power and the performance of the vehicle, but it's sorted out just its... Give it a blip. Its mannerisms. We'll go. That is quite quick. Yeah, for this little tiny thing. It comes on so hard now and it ramps up. It makes it more exciting from the passenger seat. And of course, as we always like to see how quickly in the real world, it comes on strong. <laughs> how quickly you can get from zero to 62. That's of course what we're gonna to do today and see how much of a difference the RS tuner has actually made to its zero to 100 time. Yeah, just to confirm this car, with the two of us in it before and a few other bits of camera gear on these tires on the exact road that we're going to right now was 7.02 seconds on the v-box on the v-box so it's pretty damn accurate um, um well compared to the onboard yeah. rs yeah i don't know if many other people with these rs's have actually checked how accurate the built-in zero to 100 timer is but it's about half a second faster than the v-box so renault would be in a little bit sneaky <laughs> putting that little device in there. Why not, huh? Anyway, Why not? can do some runs. Let's do it. <clears throat> right, attempt two. noticeably different. It was especially different when I missed that third gear. Yeah, that's a shame because that was going to be a quick run. It was. So we pulled off. We didn't, we didn't pull off. No, not on. We shaved some time off. We It was a point, just over 0 0.3 seconds. Um, that's purely just the RS tuner, which I'm pretty happy with, but I'm really annoyed I missed that gear. That run where we missed the gear, where I missed the gear, um, was definitely quicker at the six second point it was doing 94 point something kilometers an hour we're on the fastest run I completed we were only at 92 yeah so that's that would have made a big difference um, and considering that all that's happened is increase the power and torque it's still going through the same events as tires on the front wheels yep um, everything else is the same yeah that's um I haven't to be honest I haven't done that many flat-out launches in this car apart from for the videos and uh, a couple of drag races um, but yeah, doing multiple runs like that, I don't know how the clutch feels about it. And this car has done 185,000 kilometers, so I thought I'd call it at three runs. The um, one thing I do just want to say, the the drivability of the car is the big thing that's changed with that RS tuner. It's not um, it's not just the, the pure peak power, from what I read on the internet, doesn't change that much. But the way it pulls through that three to 6,000 RPM window is hugely different. And it sounds more aggressive. It is just such a more, invigorating drive. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear it on the video, but once it was uh, in sport mode and you were properly up it, or even, you know, before the launch, it's popping and cracking. It sounds yeah. like a mini race car. It's awesome. It really is. It's just such a, a lovely ball of fun to drive. For the money that that um, 
RS tuner cost, highly recommend it. Obviously, I know you're going to get more out of doing a custom vehicle specific tune, but Hank from RS tuner was so good to deal with. He replied to emails straight away if I had any silly questions, even if they were stupid ones. Uh, his maps that he hands out to people are not just a blanket for everywhere in the world. This map that he sent to me was vehicle, well, a country specific, and it did have Australia on it, and it's just it's just run faultlessly. That's it. That's pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, right. Attempt two.